Hello guys, there have been many 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 questions which has been coming forward to all of us like uh, I have scored so much mark in my GT, I have got these many correct answers. So what do I do in the last two weeks? I have very limited time right in the last two weeks so that in the NEET exam I can score a bit better. There's been extremely like frequently received questions of all the faculties across the platforms right. So I'm just going to be here to have a simple non-academic chit chat so that uh, just to ease you down, just to calm you down and let's see how focused we can be and how positively we can have an impact on the NEET PG 2023, right? So this is Dr. Anjit, your pathology faculty at PW. So the first and the foremost thing, I'm going to be very brutally honest in this video. Uh, if you've not prepared seriously for the NEET PG in the last six or eight months, this two weeks is not going to be a change at all. But if you sincerely put your heart and soul and if you're prepared properly in the last six to eight months, I am pretty much sure you can definitely consolidate that in these two weeks and be having a focus in the right direction and definitely can increase your score in the NEET PG exams. First and the foremost thing, like many faculties must have told you, do not read anything new do something in and around PYQs, the PYQs and the topics in and around that. That's what we've been doing in the sprint session. Just focusing on the pre PYQs and the high yield topics. Second and the most burning question which we started with, how do I increase the score of GTs? See, if you looked at any GT, whatever you've done till now, any grant test, whatever you're given, I'm pretty much sure while looking at the solution, Are, I know this answer. Why did I make a mistake? Because you must not read all except. Like, this is very simple solution. Why didn't I even think about it? You must have done it. You must have thought about it, but you overthink and you change the answer, right? So I have two rules that will definitely help you to push your marks in the NEET PG exam if you follow it rigorously, starting from today in every question you solve. The first rule, do not overthink. Generally, how many of you say this is right, right? I have experienced this for sure. I read a question, my brain says this is the right answer, but unfortunately I overthink, I confuse a lot and go and change the answer to a wrong answer. How many times the answer which you changed became wrong? Quite a few times, right? So please trust your brain. Your brain knows medicine. You don't believe your brain, so you overthink and make it wrong. Generally the first instinct whatever doctor gets will be right. Because we are tuned to take decisions in emergency. We are tuned to act for seconds, in seconds in your OTs, in seconds in your casualties, in seconds before intubation. My brain works very, very fast. It works beautifully in seconds. So the first instinct what comes for in an MCQ is mostly right. Trust that, mark that, go away. Don't put mark for review, come back and make a mess out of everything, right? That's the first rule. Second rule is the silly mistakes. Like I said, in the next two weeks, you cannot read extremely new stuff so that I can increase my score. Not possible at all. But in any GT, whatever you have read, am I right in saying that at least minimum of 10 questions, you must have known the answer, but you didn't read all except. You didn't read double negative. You didn't look at the gender of the patient. You didn't look at the age of the patient. You didn't read all the four options. So you made a silly mistake. Most of the students, at least 10 questions, will be like this. So 10 question in the sense, 10 into 4 marks, 40 marks and minus 10 marks, 50 marks. You are losing 50 marks just because you are in a hurry. That's all. How to solve this? Use 10 second rule. For the first 10 seconds, don't mark anything. Read the question from the first letter till the question mark completely. And then look at the four options. Wait for 10 seconds. Because when you wait for 10 seconds, you are staring at a screen. Your eyes will go twice, look at the entire question. So there's a chance, there's a probability that you'll make less silly mistakes. So if you can make less silly mistakes, the 10 silly mistake errors, right? If you can reduce that to let's say five or best case scenario, zero. If it's five, you had extra 25 marks without even dropping a sweat. If it's 10, you add extra 50 marks, extra 50 marks in NEET PG, will it make a difference? Hell lot, it'll make a difference, right? It will make a difference. So what I'm requesting you is, don't trust in whatever I say, implement, right? These are all theories. You have read many, many theories. What is more important is evidence to the theories. So the next GT which you're going to write, be it at PW or be it anywhere, 
you're going to follow two rules. First, go with the instinct. Your brain works when it's an emergency, when it's in pressure. It acts, takes decisions in seconds. Go with the instinct. Don't mark for later and make a mess. That's my first rule. Second rule, wait for 10 seconds. Read every question, wait for 10 seconds and then write the answer. That will reduce the negative. Hopefully these two rules, if you're going to apply in the next GT or next tiny 20, 30 mark question, uh, whatever you're going to answer or your subject wide test, whatever test you're going to attempt in the next two weeks, apply this rule. If this works, and I'm pretty much sure it works, apply the same thing in the exam and ace the exam, right? So thank you for your time and thank you for your valuable time at this moment of your crucial preparation and I hope it will help you and save you the day, right? Hopefully looking at expecting more doctors to come out the outer other side of the exam and let's uh, learn more together as colleagues and let's diagnose and manage more and more patients together in the best way possible, right? Thank you for your time. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.